Hey yo, it's Brian here. Today, talking about the San Francisco 49ers. In this one, predicting the game between the Niners and the Bills happening this Monday in San Francisco. Actually, I lied. It could be happening in Arizona because of all the things going on right now around the world. Santa Clara County has restricted them to not play in Levi Stadium for the next two or three weeks. We don't have any more home games in Levi Stadium, maybe until week 17 against Seattle. And even then, I don't know that that's going to be a viable home. It is what it is, but thank you to Arizona for allowing the 49ers to have a nice little home until this thing can get over all the restrictions are done 49ers versus bills i'm excited for this matchup i'm pretty sure you guys are as well bills fans watching this i'm pretty sure you guys are excited for this matchup because you know this is an anticipated matchup i've been waiting for this one since pretty much the preseason i was excited for this one i think i had a top three video talking about this and yeah the bills were very high on my list because they have a great offense they have a great defense great coaching staff led by sean mcdermott you can't go wrong right there so i'm excited for this one actually if the bills win this one should i go through a table i don't know i don't know i mean a lot of you guys in bills mafia do go through table sometimes if you guys are just trying to have some fun or whatever but i don't know if i could do that but it'd be an interesting proposition i should make a bet with you guys in bill's mafia but i probably won't be doing that it'd be pretty cool let's get this video started but before i do as always please like and subscribe that's gonna definitely help me out a lot click that button notification to get notified of future videos share the channel share this content with fellow niner faithful check out my website link article in the card section and also in the description below have it talking about which players that i thought played really well against the rams on sunday so I hope you guys do check it out take a quick read and that would be much appreciative Let's get this started. 49ers versus Bills prediction. Who is going to win this game on Monday Night Football? First off, tail of the tape, as always, I'm going to see which team did what last week. 49ers, they ended up winning their game against the division rival LA Rams. 23-20, to very impressive win, getting them back on track for the playoff run. This was a little bit surprising because I didn't think Nick Mullins and the offensive line could do a great job, but they did an admirable job, I would say. I mean, Aaron Donald did kind of tear him up near the second half of the game, but Mullins and company, they were able to hold through defensively. They played really well. That was a top five defense I would say and I was out there on Sunday and they've had some good showing for the past couple of weeks the score might not say that but they had a really good showing especially in this one so I was very impressed by it hopefully they can keep it up against Josh Allen and company great win let's see if they can get another one on Monday next up the Buffalo Bills they ended up defeating the LA Chargers 27 to 17 Josh Allen he had an okay game nothing too crazy there but Bills defense they did their thing you can't go wrong with them they have eight wins only three losses and they've had some really competitive ones for the most part I think the only uncompetitive game was maybe against the Chiefs but other than that they've been really really good they beat Seattle in a very blowout-ish game thank you Bill for beating them two matchups two very important pivotal games for both teams I would say especially for the 49ers and let's just talk about some things that are, are going to be very important coming into this one I would say for the 49ers the thing that they need to do is just run the ball I would say just keep the formula going you have Raheem Mostert Jeff Wilson Jr. coming back they were able to get away unscathed from the game against the Rams they didn't have the best games of their lives but just having them in the running game that was very awesome to have and I think they're going to get even better coming into Monday I mean the first game they were just coming back they weren't going to be 100% definitely but I feel like with the, them playing the game just getting the field playing football again that's going to make them even better and having two great running backs you can't go wrong with that also having Jared McKinnon as a quote-unquote backup guy that doesn't hurt as well offensive line as I said they have to play much better than they usually do they have to keep their momentum going as much as they can Trent Williams is doing a great job stabilizing that line as much as he can everybody else is kind of struggling a little bit especially Mike McGlinchey he needs to really step it up during the second half of the year and I don't know what the Mike McGlinchey from 2019 was but this one is just a different one from wherever he came from because because he's not playing well this year in particular. Nick Mullins, he has to limit his mistakes. He just has to pretty much play game manager, but he has to make some plays as well. And that's the thing I kind of saw with him, especially with the last drive, setting up the Robbie Gold field goal, was able to get some nice plays in first, second, third down territory, getting to Kendrick Bourne, the third down guy. He's made some nice plays. The biggest person that's been the biggest difference maker from last week is Debo Samuel, wide receiver on the offense. I mean, with him, the playbook just completely opens. Every defense has to look forward to running plays, passing plays, catching plays physical plays from him because he's a very physical back he will stiff arm you pretty good I would say I mean he doesn't look like the biggest guy but he's a very strong guy and we talk about DK Metcalf but Debo he's a little bit underrated in that kind of department he could do really well I'm pretty sure the Bills defense is going to be dialing up a lot for Debo because he is definitely a big threat for any defense I would say offensively they just got to run the ball use Debo a lot Brendan Ayuk should be available hopefully I'm excited to see him return if he does that would make the team even more better and hopefully they can go up against this daunting Bills defense 
defense because it is a legit defense led by a lot of guys like Ed Oliver, Tredarius White. He's the guy that I'm concerned probably the most out of anybody, you know, for any receiver. He can get interceptions. He will lock you down for the most part. They have an awesome defense, and the 49ers offense got to be careful because we're a little bit anemic, I would say, on offense. But having Debo back, that should make it a little bit more dynamic than it usually is. Defensively for the 49ers, they just got to keep their thing going. Got to pressure the quarterback as much as they can. Pressure Josh Allen if they can. Then it'll make it a little bit easier. Luckily, Richard Sherman came back last week, so that really gives a lot of leeway for the defense to get to the passer even more. I've seen that a little bit more against the Rams was being able to get to Jared Goff, having two great corners in Jason Verrett, Richard Sherman. We did lose Jamar Taylor, nickel cornerback, so I'm pretty sure Emmanuel Mosey is going to be taking over for the most part. Jimmy Ward, he had the game of his life on Sunday. I didn't really give him a lot of credit for whatever reason. I was pretty much excited for the whole win, so I kind of forgot about him. He had a great game, so hopefully he can keep it up. Tarverius Moore, he's done great for the 49ers so far, t yanking out Marcel Harris as much as I love Harris, as much as I love his physicality. He just misses a lot of tackles, and that's the, pretty much the biggest problem with him, just whiffing a lot and getting burned a little bit. Just keep up the formula they did. Robert Salah, he always has his team as much as prepared as he can every single game this whole year, except the Dolphins game. So, you know, I'm not too concerned about the defense, but I am a little bit concerned on the offense. Guys to watch on the Bills offense is Josh Allen, Singletary, and also Stephon Diggs. I mean, I sometimes forget that he's on the team. I always think he's in Minnesota, but the Vikings traded him to Buffalo, so that he's been a big difference maker for them, and that's why their offense has gotten even better, in my opinion, for the Bills. It's a legit team. They're complete on all sides of the football. The 49ers, I would love to say they're complete on all sides of the football, but I wish we had George Kittle, Jimmy Garoppolo back. That would be awesome right there, and we could have a complete offense, but you know what? With the guys we have, I'm confident in them. I'm pretty sure Kyle Shanahan, Robert Saul is incompetent in these guys as well, and hopefully we can get this win against the Bills, because this is a very pivotal one. If they don't win this game, they can kiss their playoff hopes pretty much goodbye, so I'm I'm pretty sure every game they're going to treat it like it's their last game and that's what they need to do in order to make the playoffs this year. Going to everything 49ers versus Bills. Who am I going to pick to win this game? Conventional wisdom would say the Bills because they're, I guess we would say, a better team. Not just record-wise, but talent-wise just for right now because the 49ers are so beat up. But if I had to go with somebody, I'm picking the 49ers in a mini upset, I would say. I mean, this would be kind of an upset if the 49ers win this one because I just think the Bills are really good and they're legit. I do love the 49ers. I think they're going to be in desperation more like they were against the Patriots and against the Rams from a few weeks ago. If they can get in that mentality for the rest of the season, then they will make the playoffs and hopefully make a nice playoff run. I know that's really early to talk about that, but they got to keep every game as desperation mode. Like, they're not going to make the playoffs if they lose the game. I'm pretty sure the 49ers are in that mode, and that's all I could pretty much say. I think defensively, they're going to do really well against Josh Allen and company, and offensively, they just got to run the ball, limit their mistakes, and they can do a great job as well, like they did against the Rams for the most part. If I had to go with the final score for this game, 49ers, I'm going to be saying they're going to win this game about 27 Bills 24. I think it's going to be a little bit on the lower end of the scoring, but you never know. It may, might be high scoring. It might be anything crazy. Anything can happen in football, but I do believe in the 49ers. I think they can score enough points to beat the Bills. It's going to be tough to score 27 points on them, but you know what? I love the running game. I love Debo Samuel, and I believe they have the potential to do that. Hopefully, they can get a pick six from Josh Allen. That would be awesome right there, but we'll see then. That's pretty much it, you guys. Please let me know what you guys think about this game. 49ers versus Bills. Who do you have winning this game? Please like and subscribe. That's going to definitely help me out a lot. I'll be catching you guys up probably tomorrow on a Thursday, if not a Friday. I'll see y'all then. Bye, guys. Love y'all. Y'all have a great rest of your night. Go Niners all day.